Hello, my name is Jeff Lukacs, Marketing Manager for our Video Interface products. I want to talk to you a little bit today about our uh, Display Link video products where we can, we're transporting video wirelessly from a laptop to a Wi-Fi re a receiver and then displaying uh, 4K 60 Hertz. Is that a new solution? It is a new solution uh, using existing Wi-Fi technology, but we're deploying our Display Link codec uh, where it compresses the video and uses a frame buffer, and we're using that to limit the amount of data we need to transfer wirelessly over Wi-Fi. It totally looks like 4K. It is 4K 60 Hertz uh, display, yes indeed. It's been optimized for a 65 inch display. Just on a Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 5, or what do you need? So we initially are bringing it up with Wi-Fi 6, but we have plans to port it to Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 7 with the expectation that notebooks will be uh, deploying Wi-Fi 7 in the future. Would that mean even better quality if you have a better Wi-Fi? Yeah, I think improved quality, but also the ability to support uh, data as well. We transport not only uh, compressed video wirelessly, but we all tra also transport, for example, 4K uh, USB camera data, as well as keyboard and mouse. Why, do, why does it look so good? Uh, our codec is an adaptive codec. It adapts to both the link and uh, content, and it's been optimized for this type of application. Uh, is it one of the best codecs you can imagine for, for, for yeah. doing it wirelessly? Yeah, so it's, you know, the display link codec is optimized for uh, productivity type of applications, which is not only viewing uh, digital, the content, but interactive. So the cursor is very, very responsive. Uh, text is very crisp. So it doesn't have the ultra high compression levels. It really it's geared for human interaction uh, for productivity applications. When you do video, uh, does it just use a standard codec like H.265 or AV1, or is it oh, it's a proprietary way of doing it? Right. Yeah, so H.264, 265 are industry standard codecs that have uh, do a great job, but they have a lot of latency. The Display Link codec um, is optimized for uh, frame by frame optimization. So again, high quality, but also low latency and more responsive than those industry standard codecs. Especially when people are at home, maybe there's not too much interference, it's gonna be great performance. Yeah, so uh, we, we don't use all the bandwidth in Wi-Fi 6, for example, or 6E. We only use a portion of it. We reserve some of it in case there is some interference. Um, but certainly it's intended for a home application where you get home, you have your laptop, you want to read some email, maybe do some Excel to fill up, finish up some work. It's an ideal application to use on a large screen TV in a home environment. How much better does it get when you plug it in? So we'll plug it in. Um, like if you do uh, display link by cable, by cable. it's going to it's going to be better, right? Uh, not that much. I mean, the, our codec, again, adapts to the link, and it's going to maintain a high quality uh, in either application. And just instant. It's like the latency is going to be so great, even wireless. It's a, um, for, for, for static comment, uh, sta static content, it, is, uh, it updates it within a frame. For motion video, it, it does add additional um, frame delays. All right. And how soon is this in the mass production? Do you need to do something special before people start using it? Right. So this is an initial demonstration. We're uh, talking to different ODMs and OEMs about building different applications. It could be potentially a dongle that plugs into the back of a TV. It could be a game module where it's a PC game that's playing on a game console. And, then, and we have some customers are interested in integrating it into a monitor. It'd be cool if when you have a display link dock, it also supports wireless. So you could do cable or not? Yeah, so that's a potential application as well, indeed. And then it's just part of the driver on the laptop and it just gets an update to support wireless? Right, so it's the same display link driver, um, either for wired or wireless applications. It yeah, runs on Windows, um, Mac, uh, Linux, uh, app applications or Chrome as well.